What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the Dragon Ball Central channel. Today we've got a whole bunch of things to talk about. The main thing obviously going to be probably what you clicked on this video for, but there are quite a few other things that we want to go ahead and talk about today as well. I've kind of went a little bit overboard lately as far as our Dragon Ball related pickups are concerned, but uh, you know, they were, they were really, really good deals, so who am I to pass up a good deal? But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So first and foremost guys, I think that the main reason everybody clicked on the video was because of this baby right here. So we got our metallic Whis from Funimation directly in the mail just the other day. I'm super, super hyped about it. So as you guys can see, we're going to go ahead and just pop this sucker out of the package. But yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, first glance at it, I'm, I'm not seeing like anything on the box. I just popped it open real quick before the video. So I'm not, I'm not seeing anything on the box here. Um, Let's go throw that off to the side, but yeah, look at this. Look at that. Metallic Weiss, man. Box looks absolutely pristine. We have a bit of a bud. No, no, it's not like a, it's not a budge there. Oh, it started for us, guys. They, nice. All right, so we can actually open it up here without getting like a crease on it. That's one of the main issues with Funko boxes, just so you guys know, is that the, uh, the boxes get creases on them very, very easily. But uh, this is going to be really awesome because I can actually take them out of the package and then uh, take some pictures and stuff. So we'll, we'll do some, uh, some cool little glamour shots and stuff there of them. But yeah, look at this, guys. Amazing. Amazing. All right. Got to be careful. We don't want to mess anything up here. I don't want to smudge them or anything. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Beautiful, guys. Wow. Look at that figurine right there. Metallic Whis. For those of you that don't know, for those of you that maybe are just checking out the channel for the uh, the first time, maybe maybe you don't actually know a lot about Funko Pops or anything. Looks like we got a little bit of a uh, little bit of a smudge there. I don't know if you guys can see it. We'll go ahead and focus this up real fast. You guys, you see that little smudge right on his cheek there? I'm not I'm not entirely sure why that's there, but it's no biggie. It really isn't. Um, either way, so this is essentially a, uh, a collectible that was released at the San Diego Comic-Con and it was very very exclusive to the Comic-Con but then Funimation decided hey we're gonna be selling a bunch of them online and then all of the you know everybody freaked out about it because you know it's like a $200 pop this this little figure this figure size of my hand okay $200 pop crazy so um and they uh, they decided a bunch of like sneaker collectors and stuff that that flip things regularly anyways decided that they were gonna pick it up and uh, and and because of that we had a very very rough time ordering this little dude right here it took me about three hours of, of refreshing the page and then uh, you know going and trying to check out at one point a freaking Bulma pop got put into my cart into the checkout page I was literally on the checkout page I finally got there it took about an hour and a half or so and all of the sudden, there was a Bulma in my cart instead of Metallic Whis. So that was really unfortunate. I was pretty upset about that one. I thought for sure I wasn't going to actually get one. But uh, lo and behold, a few hours later, after the site went down and back up and down and back up again, we got Whis. So uh, I was I was even wondering if, if Whis was even going to come in at all. I thought I was like first thinking that they might cancel the orders because they shut down orders. Uh, as you guys may or may not know, if you collect Funko Pops, they shut down the orders for him. And it was a, it was a big ordeal. People are upset about it and stuff. But uh, I, I luckily got in about 45 minutes or an hour before they shut down orders for the day and still haven't actually, as of the recording of this video, uh, reopened orders. So definitely very, very happy to add this one to my collection. Um, I'm just getting started as far as the Funko Pop content is concerned, so definitely let me know if you guys want to see more in the future. Um, maybe what I, what I was thinking was that all of the non-exclusives, non-online ridiculous to get ones that, you know, maybe I, I won't be able to go to a store to get, maybe I could do like hunting around the, the town, you know, so if you guys want to see like a vlog or something of me pop hunting for brand new pops let me know down in the comments I would love to hear it I definitely think that it'd be a really good time I've wanted to get back into vlogging anyways and it would be a perfect way to just jump back in with something that's really just basic and you know the, the editing won't be like a huge deal to get back into or anything like that it'll just be fun and relaxed and I'll be going around spending a little bit of money picking up some awesome pops so uh, let me know what you think about that I'll go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll just go into the next thing right now I'll take some uh, 
some cool pictures and, and uh, video and show it at the end, but yeah. Um, so I've got some other stuff, as you guys may or may not know from, uh, from me talking earlier in the video. Um, I've been, I've basically been on a Dragon Ball binge lately, and what that means for me is really that I probably am going to be going on eBay and trying to find deals for really cool Dragon Ball things, okay? So what happened here, and, and also, you know, at yard sales and stuff, obviously, I go to a lot of yard sales uh, for a lot of reasons, actually, so um, I, I keep an eye out. I'll just say that. I keep an eye out for Dragon Ball stuff I think is cool. So, uh, we kind of got lucky, guys. We kind of got lucky. So you guys are about to see. We got a whole bunch of old school Panini Dragon Ball cards, which is pretty freaking cool. Um, and they were very, 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 very cheap. I cannot stress this enough. They were like a few dollars to get all of this stuff. So... That was pretty hype. The condition, I mean, it leaves a little bit to be desired on some of these cards, but uh, as you guys are about to see, I don't think that it really matters that the condition isn't great on some of these just because of the sheer quantity that I was able to pick up. For literally, I want to stress this more than anything else, a few dollars, okay? All of these cards, all of them, just ridiculous amount of cards so we're gonna go ahead and just go through some of them right now maybe not all of them um, and I do have some other things that I've ordered that is that have come in but uh, I'm not going to be showing off everything today because where's the fun in that right but I did really want to mainly go over what's in this particular box right here it's a little dragon shield sleeve box but there are some really cool cards in this box so let's go ahead and pop those out and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about you know the rest of them are pretty much like commons and junk and uh, there's a bunch of stuff in here that I don't think is very relevant or, or very cool, but uh, there's some really, really cool cards in here. So let's just go through the whole stack here, and I'll show you guys what I mean. So uh, we'll go ahead and focus it right here. There we go. And so we've got Chi-Chi. It's like, whatever. So we're, we got some, uh, some foils. They're not the most amazing condition-wise, as you guys are able to see from this, uh, but... You know, they're, they're cool. They're cool and they're definitely, you know, they have the possibility that the Panini card game may start back up in the future. I doubt it, you know, with the success of the Dragon Ball Super card game, I really doubt it. But it has been shut down and started back up probably, I think, about four times at this point. So uh, I definitely think it's very possible that we do see them start the, start the, the card game back up at some point. But yeah, as you guys can see, we got some cool stuff. I mean, it's, it's, some, it's some neat cards. And uh, again, some very, very cool display cards here. So look, we got like a Bubbles. That is too sick, man. I, I freaking love Bubbles anyways. But like, look at that card. Again, it's got some scratches, you know, as you guys can see, it's got some wear on it, but it still looks dope. So uh, I'm pretty excited about this one more than most of the other ones. I think that that's pretty awesome. It's, it's neat as a, a collectible more than anything else, you know? We'll sleeve that sucker up very, very soon. I think that's all as far as the cool ones on the back here. Yeah, that's going to be it as far as the cool ones on the back. Now we've got another stack right here to go through. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're just all out of order. This guy clearly hasn't touched the game in a long, long time. But, uh, yeah, okay, so there's a, there's a foil right there. You guys see anything cool, let me know. Um, but I'm just going through and looking for the... I'm basically, like, like doing, like, the, oh, shiny, you know? Like, oh, my God, shiny type of situation here because like I love foils man I'm a sucker for it I'm a total sucker for it so we've got uh, <laughs> alright nice 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 Mr. Ox alright uh, yeah so some pretty decent foils and stuff I, I really think that the bubbles is probably about the highlight of this purchase I gotta say but other than that I mean there is some neat stuff it's just like there are so many cards like so many cards spope of it uh, look at that Jace, man. That is a cool looking foil. That is like, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's got like a warp to it, so that kind of sucks. But uh, it, it's got like a neat foil to it. I, I've never quite seen a foil like that before. It's like they just overlaid the gold foil and silver foil over top of the existing card. So it's, it looks kind of cool, man. I don't know. We'll, we'll try to flatten that puppy out. But uh, yeah, <laughs> we've got Krillin, you know, with hair. 
not the one that people are you know familiar with or anything but uh yeah there there's a lot a lot a lot of cards here guys a lot a lot a lot of cards and we can go through all of them if you guys do want to see that so i would be happy to do that if you guys want let me know down in the comments do you want to go do you want me to go through all of the cards that i got here or uh, do you do you think that you know you get the idea? I got a cool a cool set of cards for a, a very cheap price, and that's kind of neat. Uh, let's let's just go through these ones that were on the top here. I haven't looked at these yet. Um, I'm not seeing anything too special here. Not seeing anything too special. Shh. PA. <laughs> Early of Vegeta, nice. All right, so uh, yeah, this is uh, definitely not going to be like a crazy pull right there. Okay, so uh, yeah, just just uh, just some really really awesome pickups here. So we've got all of these cards. I can go through all of them again in another video if you guys want me to. Um, it's a, it's a little bit of an ordeal to set everything up here, so that's why um, I, I wanted to just sort of show this off real quick with the uh, the Weiss as well. Um, but I'm I'm really really hyped about the Weiss. So. Yeah, that's going to be about it for this one, guys. There is some other stuff I'm going to go over in, in a video very, very soon. So keep an eye out for that if you liked this at all. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments. Do you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff? Do you want to see me pop hunting? Uh, and without further ado, I think that's going to be about the end of the video. And we're going to go into the uh, the glamour shots and everything of uh, of our metallic Wii. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting. Dragon Ball Central, as always, have a fantastic day. And until the next one, peace.